Kozak in northern Bavaria is a tranquil town with 45,000 residents. 200 years ago, this was still the heart of German iron ore mining, and Ambach was an important trade center. To this day, the medieval fortifications testify to the city's historical importance. The town walls are three kilometers long and remain mainly in their original state from the 14th century. The Amberg Chronicle of 1564 states that Leipzig was the richest seat of a prince elector, Munich the most beautiful, and Amberg the best fortified. And that probably has to do with the fact that it was a royal residence, a seat of rule, and also that it was a trade and business city with a lot of iron ore mining. The mines made Amberg rich, and the signs of that wealth are visible to this day. For example, the Gothic Town Hall and other prestigious buildings around the Market Square. In its heyday in the Middle Ages, Amberg had three to 4,000 inhabitants. They paid for the construction of St. Martin's Church out of their own pockets. The small Fils River was important for transporting goods. Nowadays, tourists and locals enjoy outings on the water. The trip passes through the Stadtbrille, the city's landmark, and then you are surrounded by nature. Ambach has offered guided tours on former freight ships for over 10 years. The boats are called Pletten. The Plette is actually a pleta is a reproduction of one of the flatboats that were used here in the Middle Ages to transport iron. The ships were 20 meters long, much bigger than this one, which is 12 meters long. They traveled once a week in convoys of seven boats to ship raw iron or half-finished ironware to Regensburg. The boats returned with a cargo of salt, which was sold in Amberg. The former trade route is now a popular leisure destination. Yeah, you're good paid. She likes it too. It's exciting. Her first boat ride. It's wonderful. I feel like I'm in some foreign country. A cruise in Brazil. It's so romantic. <laughs> like the Amazon. <laughs> the region has a lot of interesting tourist attractions. For example, a visit to a castle, like this one in Toyern, 10 kilometers away. There are many castles like this one along the Fils River. They belonged to the owners of the factories where the iron ore was processed. The late Baroque castle, with its agricultural buildings, now houses a museum dedicated to mining and industry. The former Grand Hall is now an exhibition room. The iron ore used to be smelted and forged here at the hammer works, just a few hundred meters away from the castle. Here you can see how huge wooden hammers were used as late as the 19th century to process iron. This is where they used to make the half-finished products, iron rods weighing about five kilos, which were then sold on to customers who then used the iron to make weapons and tools. From the museum, visitors can continue their outing on a bicycle alongside the Fils River. Or they can simply return to Amberg and end the day with a visit to the town's Baroque pilgrimage church, which offers great views of the town. <laughs>